law, in this lecture we will find the radius of a circle. In the drawing we have a circle. The center of this circle is at point O and inside the circle we have a rectangle and uh, the size of this line segment is 6 units and the size of this line segment is 3 units and we want to find out the radius of this circle first of all let's define this point as point M So actually the line segment CM equals to 6 units and then we will name this point uh, point N and actually the line segment AN equals to 3 units okay and uh, as I already said the center of this circle is at point O actually OC is the radius of this circle because of the fact that uh, line segment OC starts from point O that is the center of this circle and ends at point C that is a point on the circle itself and uh, the definition of a radius of any circle is uh, any line segment that uh, starts from the center of the circle and ends at any point on the circle itself is defined as a radius of that circle and uh, actually line segment OC satisfy the, the, that definition of a radius okay so OC equals to the radius of the circle I write down that OC equals to the radius of the circle and actually from the same from the same reason line segment OA is also the radius of this circle because it starts from the center of the circle and ends at point A that is a point on the circle itself for that reason OA is also the radius of this circle okay line segment OA is also the radius of this circle so I want that OA is the radius of this circle so because of the fact that both those line segments OC and OA are radiuses of this circle we can say that OA equals to OC or OC equals to OA because of the fact that both of them are radiuses of this circle so that will be our first equation that states that OC equals to OA because both of them are radiuses of this circle okay so that is our first equation OC equals to OA let's uh, name line segment OM as y so line segment OM is defined as y or y equals to OM
okay? Nine segment OM equals to Y. And uh, let's define line segment ON as X. Okay? So, line segment ON equals to X. Okay? Line segment ON equals to x. According to our definition, and line segment OM equals to y. Equals to y. Okay, so actually line, uh, line segment OC that is the radius of this circle equals to y plus 6. y plus 6 equals to OC. So I write it down here in equation number 1. OC equals to OA instead of OC we can write Y plus 6 because Y plus 6 equals to OC okay and OA equals to X plus 3 okay OA equals to equals to x plus 3. So, instead of OA, we can write x plus 3. So, in the first uh, equation, OC equals to OA, because both of them reduces of this circle. We can substitute OC by Y plus 6 because OC equals to Y plus 6. And we can substitute OA by X plus 3 because OA equals to X plus 3. So in the first equation, Y plus 6 equals to X plus 3, we can subtract, we can subtract 6 from the first equation we will get that y equals to x minus 3 ok we subtracted 6 from equation number 1 y plus 6 minus 6 equals to y and x plus 3 minus 6 equals to x minus 3 so y equals to x minus 3 that is our first equation actually because of the fact that O and B M is a rectangle as you probably know, uh, the parallel sides in a rectangle are equal to each other. So if side OM equals to Y, side NB that is parallel to side OM also will be equal to Y. Okay, side NB also will be equal to Y because the parallel sides in a rectangle are equal to each other. So if OM equals to Y, then NB also will be equal to Y. But we know, according to equation number 1, that Y equals to X minus 3. So we can write here that Y equals to X minus 3. Okay? And uh, actually, line segment OB is also the radius of this circle because of the fact that it starts from the center of the circle, that is to say from point O, and ends at point B, that is a point on the circle itself. For that reason, line segment OB is the radius of this circle. But line segment OA is also the radius of this circle. Line segment OA is also the radius of the circle. And we know 
that line segment OA, that is the radius of this circle, equals to x plus 3. So line segment OB will also be equal to x plus 3. Okay, so line segment OB, that is also the radius of this circle, will be equal to x plus 3 as line segment OA. Okay, so line segment OB, that is the radius of this circle, will be equal to x plus 3. Okay, so actually, as you have already know, all the angles in a rectangle are equal to 90 units, and especially line O, uh, angle O and B in the rectangle equals to 90 units. So actually, triangle OBN is a right triangle because angle O and B equals to 90 degrees. So, uh, now we will use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the value of X in the right triangle uh, O and B. In the right green triangle O and B, we will find the value of X by using the Pythagorean theorem. We know that the radius that is the the radius of the circle that is the hypotenuse of the right green triangle equals to x plus 3. Side O N of the green right triangle equals to x and side BN of the right green triangle equals to x minus 3. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the value of x. Actually, the Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. Okay, so according to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse, that is x plus 3 square, Our second equation is x plus 3 square equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to x square plus y that equals to x minus 3, so it is x minus 3 square. Okay, so the square of the hypotenuse, that is x plus 3 square, equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars, equals to x square plus x minus, x minus 3 square. Okay, again, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse, that is x plus 3 square, equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars, equals to x square plus x minus 3 square. Okay, so actually x plus 3, uh, 3 square equals to x square plus 9 plus 6x all equals to x square plus x square plus 9 minus 6, 6x. So, actually, x plus 3 square equals to x square plus 9 plus 6x according to the formula that ap plus b square equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. Okay, according to the formula that a plus b square equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. 
here a equals to x and b equals to 3. Okay. So, according to the formula that a plus b squared equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab, where a equals to x and b equals to 3, we found out that x plus 3 squared equals to x squared plus 9 plus 6x. And all equals to x squared plus x squared plus 9 times 6x. So we found the value of x minus 3 square according to the formula that a minus b square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 times ab where a equals to x and b equals to 3. Okay, so we found the value of x minus 3 square according to the formula that a minus b square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 times ab, where a equals to x and b equals to 3. Okay, so we found that this side of the equation equals to x square plus x square plus 9 minus 3 square. 6x. Now we have x squared in this side of the equation and we have x squared in this side of the equation so x squared will be cancelled. We have 9 in this side of the, of the equation and we also have 9 in this side of the equation so we, we can cancel 9 also. So Actually, what is left here that we left with uh, in this side of the equation, we left with 6x, and in the other side of the equation number 2, we left with x squared minus 6x. Okay, again, in this side of the equation we left with 6x and in the other side of the equation we left with x squared minus 6x, x squared minus 6x. Now we will subtract 6x from equation number 2. We will get that 0 equals to x squared minus 12 square plus 12 x. So we subtracted 6x from equation number 2. 6x minus 6x equals to 0 and x squared minus 6x minus 6x equals to x squared minus 12x because 6 minus 6 minus 6x minus 6x equals to minus 12x. Okay, in the next step, uh, we will take a common factor x from equation number 2 again. We will take a common factor x from this equation number 2. So we actually took a common factor x from this equation. We got that 0 equals to x minus x squared minus 12x is become 0 equals to x times 
the bar in brackets we have x minus uh, 12. So actually we have two solutions to this equation. The first solution is x equals to zero, but x will never be zero because x is the size of the side of the rectangle and we are t when we are talking about rectangle the side of the rectangle it always must be positive number it can never be zero so the solution x equals to zero is incorrect and we have the second solution the second solution is x minus 12 equals to 0. Okay? So if x minus 12 equals to 0, we'll add 12 to this equation, we will get that x equals to 12 units. x equals to 12 units. Okay x equals to 12 units but as you already if you can see from the drawing the radius of this circle is x plus 3 okay the radius of this circle is actually x plus 3 so the radius of the circle the radius will be equal to x plus 3 that is to say x equals to 12 so it is 12 plus 3 and the radius of this circle equals to 15 units the radius equals to x plus 3 and x equals to 12 so 12 plus 3 is 15 units so the answer to the question is that the radius of this circle equals to 15 units. Okay, so now I will summarize the lecture. Actually, we wanted to find out the radius of this circle. The center of this circle is at point O, and inside the circle we have a rectangle we know that uh, the size of line segment MC is actually 6 units and the size of line segment NA is 3 units and we want to find out the radius of this circle first of all line segment OC is actually the radius of this circle because of the fact that it starts from the center of the circle and ends at point C, that is the point of the circle itself. For that reason, OC is the radius of this circle. And actually, OA is also the radius of this circle for the same reason, because of the fact that line segment OA starts from point O, that is the center of this circle, and ends at point A, that is the point of the circle itself. For that reason, line segment OA is the radius of this circle. So if OA is the radius and OC is also the radius, we can deduce from it that OA equals to OC because both of them are radiuses of this circle. Okay? OC equals to OA. Both of them are radiuses of this circle. Get, then we define line segment OM as Y. So Y equals to OM. And we define line segment ON as X. So, O n equals to x. 
So our first question is that OC that is the radius of this circle equals to OA that is also the radius of this circle. But OC equals to Y plus 6. We can substitute OC by Y plus 6 and OA equals to X plus 3. So we can substitute OA by X plus 3. So we got our first equation that states that y plus 6 equals to x plus 3 and we substituted 6 from this first equation we got that y equals to x minus 3 okay but uh, actually as I have already told you uh, on bn or om bn is a rectangle and as you already know, the parallel sides in a rectangle are equal to each other. So, if side OM of this rectangle equals to Y, then side BN that, that, that is parallel to side OM will be equal also to Y. So, we can write here that BN equals to Y. But... We know, according to equation number one, that uh, y equals to x minus 3. Okay, y equals to x minus 3, so we can add here that y equals to x minus 3. And uh, actually, line segment OB is the radius of this circle. So OA, OB, and OC, all radiuses of this circle. And uh, OA, that is radius of this circle, equals to X plus 3. So OB, that is also the radius of this circle, will be also equal to X plus 3. Okay? So, in... And we know that all angles in a rectangle equals to 90 degrees. So also angle O and B equals to 90 degrees. Okay? So in the green right triangle O and B, we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the value of X. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. That is to say, x plus 3 square equals to x square plus x minus 3 square. Okay, so our second equation states that the square of the hypotenuse, that is x plus 3 square, equals to x square plus x minus 3 square. And after we solve this uh, special uh, sm uh, simple equation we found out that uh, the value of x actually equals to 12 units x equals to 12 units but we know that the radius equals to x plus 3 so the radius will be equal to x plus 3 that is to say to 12 plus 3, or the radius of this circle equals to 15 units. Okay, thank you very much.